What's up everyone, Carter here, and in this video I want to show you everything there is to know about Jungle Scout. Um, the two main tools being the Chrome extension and the web app. And I also want to show you some of the little new add-ons and little features that Jungle Scout has just recently added. So if you currently use Jungle Scout and want to learn a little bit more about the tools they just added, this is going to be a perfect video for you. If you're a complete beginner who has no idea what Jungle Scout is or how exactly you can use it, I'm going to show you exactly how. I'm going to go into my own personal account and show you kind of how I go through the process of you know narrowing down and finding profitable products and everything that goes into the web app and the Chrome extension. So let's get right into it. Now I want to start with the Jungle Scout web app because this is really the foundation of your Amazon business. This is where we're going to be primarily spending the majority of your time. So this is your product tracker. Obviously when you can use the product tracker you have to find some products. So what happens is under find products, if you click it, it has three different tabs. So there's the product database, there's the product tracker, and the niche hunter. I really don't have much experience with the niche hunter. Um, I don't feel like I really need it much, and I've already had success without it. So the product database is really where you're going to want to start. Now, this is where you basically put in all your criteria for you know the marketplace, everything that you want to search for. So obviously you can pick the categories and you're going to want to pick categories that obviously aren't restricted um, and categories that you have rights to sell in so you know you're not going to be able to sell in a category like let's see right here like watches or something like um, movies and tv i mean those are restricted categories you have to um, have access granted to you in order to sell in those categories so i'll just pick a couple of them let's go baby um, we'll go arts and crafts, go pet supplies, and sports and outdoors. There's some others, but I'll just do those for this example. Now you're going to want to choose your product tier. Is the product a standard size, or is it something really, really big? I like to stick to standard. You use oversize, and the fees start getting a lot higher. Shipping is a lot more complicated. So for that example, um, sellers, so we're going to want to go... Um, FBA sellers, we're not really so much going for merchant fulfilled sellers or Amazon. We want to um, kind of stay away from that. So pricing, let's go, I don't know, let's go 20 to $25. Um, then I'll usually want to go to the minimum sales because obviously we don't want something that's selling like one unit or anything. You know, let's go, um, let's go like 200 units a month. That sounds pretty good. Revenue, it's kind of optional. Um, this one's pretty important, reviews. So this is kind of how you narrow down. You don't want to go after a product that's too competitive or a product that doesn't have any demand either. So usually I'll just go, um, I'll go maximum reviews like 50. So it's going to pull up every single product that fits under my criteria. So it's in a 20 to $25 price point. It's doing over 200 sales a month and it has a max of 50 reviews so what you can do is you can come down here and you can search and now jungle scout is going to take out of the 71 results and it's just pulled up 2300 listings that fit that criteria now basically what you can do is you can scroll through and just look at all the products analyze them you know the reviews the rank um, what's the revenue how many sales are they making you know what's the profit per unit and you just want to keep scrolling through um you know until you catch something that um you know, seems like an opportunity to you. Now, the really cool thing about using this database and scrolling down is you can actually click on a product and it'll link you to the exact Amazon page. So let's just say we want to sell or we're looking into this um, vet wrap tape, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to search into like a broad search for this product that's going to show other sellers selling that similar product. So I'm thinking something like vet wrap so you can see there's 283 listings and see there's a bunch of different colors and probably sizes and lengths. So what you can do now is you can use the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, as you can see right here. I'll click it and it's going to pull down all these search, all these results for every single product that's on that first page. You can see the first, what is it, like first 33 products on the page. It's going to show you, um, you know, the product name, the brand name, 
the pricing, its sales rank, um, you know, its average monthly sales, daily sales, revenue, um, how many reviews that listing has, and much more. That's really cool because you can play around with it. So let's just say, you know, there's a product that comes up that you don't want to sell. So maybe you don't want to sell this certain color. You can come over here, you can hit the X, it'll take it off of there. Um, you know, it kind of gives you a quick rundown of, of those first 33 listings, you know, is a combined average 308 monthly sales, the average price, maybe you want to go for something that has a lower price, you want to see who has the highest price. It's just a quick way for you to analyze the whole market for that product. So it's a, it's a really great opportunity. I personally think I'm using this all the time. And I'm just starting from here. I'm just scrolling through, you know, oh, this seems like a good product. You know, it has one review and all of a sudden it's doing $7,600 in revenue, 340 sales a month. Why is that? So let me just come back over here and check out the market, see that the, you know, sales are evenly spread out or see if there's, you know, one competitor that's, um, you know, dominating the market. Now that I've showed you the Chrome extension, I actually want to go back into the um, web app and show you some of the other features that are very, very important um, that you can definitely utilize in your Amazon business. Now, before I leave, I do want to mention this little button right here, this add button. So this is really, really important. This is where I'm actually going to bring you into the next step. So let's just say, you know, you looked up this product, you think it has an opportunity, you know, you like the price points, you know, you're looking, it's, it's not too competitive. You know, there's not too many competitors with hundreds to thousands of reviews. And you think that this could be an opportunity and you want to look more into it. So what you can do is you can find a product that you want to basically track or look more into each and every day for the next week or two or a couple of weeks or however long you want to. So you come over here and you can just hit add to your product tracker. Now, what's going to happen is I'm actually going to go back into my account and show you what exactly I mean by that. So here I am in my product tracker. Now, I'm not going to show you the exact products I have in this one, but this is just a YouTube example. So when I hit add product, it's actually going to bring it to this specific page. So what you're able to do is you can now track that um, specific ace in that specific listing on Amazon. And you can see, um, you know, it's average daily sold units, it's revenue. Um, you know, you can show the results from the past seven days. Um, you can even change that. You, I mean, you can come into here. You can look at how many units they were selling each day, what the price was, um, what the rank was, all this really, really cool stuff. And honestly, I think it's extremely important because you don't want to make, you know, a, a flash decision right away. You know, you want to bring that into your tracker or a couple of different sellers into your tracker for that specific um, product. And you just want to look at the sales velocity for the past seven days, past 30 days, 60 days, and, you know, just see how it's been going, you know, just over the next couple of days, just track it, you know, see if what the main competitors are and just to see if it's an opportunity for you. I mean, look at this giant pool raft inflatable ride on. You can see they've sold, they've sold an estimated 65 units that day, 53, 46 was that 47 include inventory you don't have to include it so yeah that's just a really cool feature that i wanted to show you now you can also play around most of this stuff honestly it has like a default setting but you can just go around and play with it so you wanted to look at the data from 30 days ago by all means look at it from 30 days ago now i do want to show you some more features so this find suppliers um supplier database i've actually never used this before it's very very new but apparently you can try to like search up a product like let's look up um let's look up like that vet tape and just see what happens so you can see it it actually pulls up suppliers um that fit the criteria or match that search term that we just looked up or you can look up something like let's go blackhead remover vacuum so it's going to pull up everything that, um, you know, matches that supplier's why. So I personally haven't used this, so I can't really um, demo this off super, super well. But from my understanding, um, that's kind of what's happening. And as you click on my suppliers, I think this is where you can go and you can just create your own group or category suppliers that you've used. Now, another really cool feature within the web app is going to be the keyword scout. Now, personally, I get a ton of benefit and a ton of success going through and finding the keywords that my competitors are basically having searched for their listing. 
And as you can see, all you have to do is just go to Amazon, you go to any one of your product listings, and you want to copy and paste the ASIN back in here. I already did, already did that to save some time. What you can do is it's going to pull up all the relevant keywords and search terms for this listing. As you can see, blackhead remover vacuum is the main you know search term or keyword for this listing you know it has an exact search volume of 6925 and a broad match search volume of 9077 now it does have some other little categories down here such as like um you know estimated ppc bid that's basically like when you're running your advertising on amazon that's like what it recommends you to use as a bid price so hopefully you can rank you know it has like a recommended giveaway so if you want to get to page one or you want to rank for this search term you're gonna to have to give away 22 units over x amount of days so those are some really cool things but mainly this is what i look into i look at the keyword and the search volume for each of them so that's really cool then you can build kind of like a list out of the different products and then it has something called a listing builder. I personally don't have much experience with this. Um, I usually either have my VA or I'll pay someone to actually take care of my keywords and all my PPC um, search terms for me. But also, it's always fun to come in here and honestly just see what people are making sales for. Because honestly, there's always some keywords that people don't find or don't know about. And so I'll come into this little um, feature. I'll put in the ASIN that I'm looking towards or looking into sell. And it just, boom exposes all of the keywords for that product if you're still a complete beginner and you do end up purchasing jungle scout you can come into the academy and it just has some quick tutorials so luckily you stopped on my video so you don't have to really spend much time in any of these lessons or any of that boring stuff you get to watch me and another thing is the launch now i don't have much experience with this either um, I think it's more of like email campaigns and follow-ups and stuff like that, which I already have a third-party service that does that for me. Now, the extension, obviously, I already have that. It talks a little bit more about it. Now, the last thing I want to go over is the Jungle Scout market. Now, for those of you that have outsourced quite a few things in your time, you've probably used Fiverr. This is honestly like the exact same setup as Fiverr, except Jungle Scout owns this market, and it's specific to only um you know amazon specific gigs amazon specific um you know listing type stuff now you can purchase one for like facebook ads package design i'll find you three profitable products launch strategies consulting photography amazon listings so if you really like specifically need some help you know in your amazon business you know maybe you need help with your listing or maybe you want some really good photos Here's a ton of qualified people that you can search from. Obviously, Fiverr is probably going to be a little bit cheaper. There's probably a lot more sellers on there, but these are all specific to Amazon. They might have a lot of experience. I haven't used any of them, but as you can see, they have reviews, you know, 66 reviews, 74. So obviously, some people have used them and they liked it. So that's just another feature that you can look into, um, you know, if you're wanting to outsource some things in your Amazon business. Now, before I move on to anything else, I want to talk specifically about pricing. Now, I'll have this link below in the description of this video where you can go check out more about Jungle Scout. But when it comes to pricing and paying any amount of money, people always get hesitant. People get scared. They don't know if it's the right investment for them. And they just honestly, most of them never make the investment. And I'm here to tell you, if you're making an investment and you're wanting to start an Amazon business, this is one of the best ways you can spend your money oh my gosh i i can't even express how how important and how helpful this tool can be to you so for the web app that includes everything from the product database to the product tracker and basically everything i showed you you can get for 39 dollars a month that's going to be the startup that's personally what i use most of the time um that's what i've used majority of my time as an Amazon seller because I haven't really needed much you know it tracks up to 40 products um, you know and it includes most of the great features in there now what a lot of people do is they'll just subscribe to it. it's $39 a month they'll go through and they'll find you know 10 20 products that they're interested in and then they'll just cancel their membership until they need to start doing more product research it's really all up to you the next thing is the Chrome extension this is just a this is a one-time payment um, if you're really on a budget and you're really trying to save some money you can go with the light it's 97 dollars 
But if you really, if you really want to take action and you really just want to go all in, get the Chrome extension pro. I mean, it's a hundred dollars more. It's a one time payment. You'll never have to pay it again and you'll get everything included in it. So don't, don't be scared to take this investment. If you're in scared to start paying $40 a month for an Amazon tool, then maybe running an Amazon business isn't the best thing for you because it's not about being cheap. It's not about taking shortcuts. It's not about finding the easiest or the quickest way around. It's about doing the right thing, doing the things that have worked, things that have repeatedly worked for thousands and thousands and thousands of other sellers already selling on Amazon. They've used Jungle Scout and they've had success with it. So if Jungle Scout is something you want to look more into or potentially purchase, I will have a link below in the description of this video. Go ahead and check it out. So if you stick through the whole video and watch the whole thing until now, shout out to you because you're obviously someone that wants to learn and someone who wants to ultimately build and scale a profitable Amazon business. So shout out to you. If you have any quick questions regarding anything I went over or showed, feel free to comment below this video. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you got any sort of value from this video or learned anything, please leave a like. I would really appreciate that. All links to everything I showed to the Chrome extension and to the web app, I'll have linked below in the description of this video. And if you want to see more videos like this and how you can create an extra stream of income online, then subscribe to this channel and I'll see everyone in the next video.